So I'm at a lake that has both large and small mouths and I wanna catch both species. Who knows how that's gonna go? But it's actually the middle of the day and I already know that I've, uh, I've caught quite a, quite a few nice fish. So it only took me three attempts, but I finally got this fish. Um, it's a nice female on a bed, probably close to four pounds. I may or may not weigh it, but. They, that's where they spawn. Yeah, so that fish, you can catch it. After I've caught it, it doesn't matter. You can go catch it now. We got 59 degree water. Hey, nice fish. Did you see it? Did yeah. I send that to you? Yeah. Oh, good. What are you headed on? Cinco. I saw where you headed out here or what? I think I'm just gonna be here all day. We're gonna have to fly something. But Dan, what's up if you see any smallmouth on beds? Yeah, there's lots of smallmouth on beds and I've seen a couple largemouths too. I think the largemouths might come shallow later in the day because it's the water's gonna be like 65. Man, I need to be throwing that Ned rig around. This is some smally frickin' paradise right here. <laughs> I mean, luckily I had already launched my boat and stuff, so I had something to do while I waited. <laughs> oh, fish on! It's tiny, but but I got one on video again. Small mouth. <laughs> Two for two on getting them while FaceTiming. That's awesome. Yep. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, but they're always small when you're talking to me. Anything? A good one? Or like that? <laughs> I got two. One of them was a four pound small mouth. Was yours a large mouth or a small mouth? Okay. Another fish on. This one's bigger. Oh yeah. It's not as big as the first uh, first one, but where's my net? I'm standing on it. Oh yeah, that's a nice small mouth. Woo! <laughs> About a three pounder. About a three pounder. <laughs> See, I'm, on, I'm gonna be in your video twice. <laughs> So you may or may not see the video I made where I'm using my own hand poured Senkos. These are actually six inch Senkos, which uh, five is pretty standard. And then I put them on Ned Rig and I ripped them off a little bit. They're fatter than a five inch Senko, but a little bit too big and they don't sink right because I don't have the salt proportions right. So they work better on Ned Rig than anything, but I just caught two in a row on that thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool doing it DIY. Um, lures it's pretty cool so since my truck is currently running and lock, the keys are locked in there i have to go unlock it uh my roommate's actually about to show up with the keys um but i'm on the opposite end of the lake and so once i go do that i can either choose to come back here and target small mouths which are very active or i can go target large mouths and try to get a you know like a kicker sized fish <laughs> Is there a truck in the parking lot that's just idling? Yes. Good, no one stole it. Uh, I locked my keys in there because someone called me as I was jumping out and I did this like reflexive thing, just like boop. My roommate just got here with my key though, my other key. That was nice of him. My roommate brought me a coffee. He killed my motor and uh, he, well, 
he drove all the way from the Edmonds area to here to save me. Did I leave my motor running here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> At least that doesn't matter so much. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Might be a large amount this time. Nope, it's another smallie. This one might have been on the bed too. Wow. That's funny, I got snagged on that dock and that's the only reason I got this angle on this fish. But then I saw how it like tapers down right to this row of pilings and I was like, ooh, that's a good spot. And this one might've been on a bed too even. So that last fish came on one of my hand poured Senkos. They just don't have the salt they're supposed to have. And so what I did, which I should have gone on video, is I put a nail weight, a tungsten nail weight in, in the body of this lure. Not in the front, more like right here. Just so when it falls, it doesn't go straight down like a, like a Ned rig. It more like falls like a tube, like kind of at an angle. And if that fish was on a bed, it probably doesn't really matter what you use. But, but again, using something you made yourself is satisfying. So I'll take it. This is shaping up to be the best smallmouth bass fishing day of my life but somehow I'm still not satisfied. And I think it's because I'm seeing some really big largemouths and I haven't caught a single largemouth yet. The whole point of this fishing trip now is to catch a big largemouth on top of the three, four pound smallmouths that I've been catching. Um, this is like a really good day at Lake Washington, but I'm not at Lake Washington. Oh yeah, big bass came out, saw me, it was Definitely gonna bite. Saw me, decided it wasn't gonna bite. When I first showed up here, um, I saw like three fish on this dock right here. Three on one dock is pretty good. So let's go try it. Weightless Senko. Cause that might catch the largemouth. Can't go wrong with the weightless Senko. I've noticed that the largemouths here are like lazy. They're not really worried about biting, they're just lazy. And so like if you get a fish's attention, you have to just let it lay there. I've had them take it off the bottom dead sticking a bunch here. But it's weird that they aren't super worried about biting. If they want to bite, they just do. Oop. Oh, that was a fish for sure. Oof. What do you, why he spit it though? He'll come back, he'll come back. Yep. Got it. I think that's a small mouth. Another small mouth. That's probably the, one of the same fish I saw. It's the same size, but there was a three pound large mouth over there and then another small mouth. But I'm hoping that a large mouth sees this above it and comes a good 10 feet up. Ooh, big fish over there. Or is that a duck? Oh, that's a big, big large mouth. I can see it's back. What the heck? How am I gonna get to it without scaring it? Oh, it's spawning or something. Oh, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna throw anchor or something if I can. Whoa, or is it a carp? It could be carp, but staying very local, like in one spot. Um, 
which means it's probably a bass. Carp move around a lot more than that. What is that? It's gotta be a bass. Whatever it is, it's massive. And if I can catch it, it would be crazy. So I think it's two largemouth just getting it on right now. That's not a bass. What is that? Let's see if I can catch it. If that's a bass, it's gonna break my line so easily. I've only seen one so far. No. That could be a catfish. Oh, I like hit him. He might have bit, he might have bit. No? I can't tell. Yeah, it's like quivering. It just started quivering. I just hit him. My line's draped on him right now. Oh. I got something. This might be the smaller of the two. I don't think this is the smaller of the two. Holy crap, it's not small. There's a huge fish over there. Holy crap. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's the male. I think that's the male. Oh my gosh. There's a 10 pound fish over there. I'm not even kidding. Like this fish is big and I didn't even see it. The other fish is so big that oh he swallowed it too the other fish is so big that he's sticking out of the water she and this is a big large mouth oh my gosh my heart is beating so hard because when i hooked that fish and knew they're bass how's it even possible there's a bass that big you know i've never seen a bass that big in my life and it's it, i'm seeing it in person and i could catch it I might put this one in the cooler. Did I scare her off? Um, so this fish isn't small. That fish is a three pound male largemouth. And I cast it basically on the female's back and the male made it apparent that they're a spawning pair of huge bass. The males are never that big. Oh, my heart's beating so hard. Um, I've heard that if you put the male in a cooler or in a live well, and then go try to catch the female, she, uh, she might bite if you can get it in there. I wish I could get it on video, but, but they'll actually get between the lure and each other and block each other from biting. And so there's a chance that if I sneak back in there, and just cast where I caught the male, uh, I might catch the biggest freaking female of my life, biggest largemouth of my life. Um, I'm just gonna try for a little bit and then I'll let the male go if it doesn't work out. Oh, there she is. Looking right at me. Hold. Oh, that might not even be the one. It's huge though. She came all the way over here. Um, I wouldn't doubt if that was just a different fish. There are a lot of huge fish in this lake. But now I'm gonna go check. I wanna see her. They're not locked. But they will be. I bet you they will be. I might come back. Huh. Well, it's interesting.
the kids are having a concert. Well, I got what I came back for, a large mouth. Um, but yeah, now I'm still not satisfied, but that's just fuel to the fire. As a catch and release fisherman, you're never satisfied. Uh, but yeah, that female, I think I saw her um, cruising around. She was about a seven or eight pounder. Yeah, would have been the biggest fish I've ever caught, but not as big as I first thought. That rhymes. It was just pretty cool that she was like fully exposed like that. I doubt I really picked it up on camera, but I'll probably give like a zoomy, grainy uh, zoom in just so you can see what I was seeing. Um, yeah, I wish I had a camera with some zoom on it because it was actually pretty close to me and actually really making my heart thump. So anyways, um, yeah, I caught five fish, probably like a three pound average for each fish. So about 15 pounds, which is like a tournament weight. So that's pretty satisfying. But yeah, thank you for coming along. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace. Nice to meet you. Nice I gotta get this on video. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Oh, that's a nice ling. Yeah, that's this boat. That's Isn't that cool? That's a gorgeous ling. I know. Oh my And then she caught a 29, God. that's 34. She caught a 29 incher too. That's a nice fish. Yeah. That's a nice fish. <laughs>